This one's a fan favorite, so put your seatbelt on. We're talking about perineal stretching. What can I do for you? First off, what the heck is your perineum, right? You probably don't know because it's not something we refer to very often, frankly, thankfully. So in your pelvis, you've got three holes. You've got a pee hole, you've got a baby exit hole, also called your vagina, and you've got a poop hole called your rectum. Pee hole is called your urethra. Now between the baby exit hole and your poop hole is your perineum. Sometimes at delivery, that can tear. It can tear and it can also be cut if baby needs to come up. I know I'm a 46 year old woman and I don't wanna think about that either. But studies have shown that you can do something called perineal stretching, which will help decrease your chances of a large tear or cut at delivery. But if you've already had a baby, there's absolutely no reason to do it. They've shown that that doesn't really help at all because you've already stretched it out. Okay, right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty of it. Let's pretend like this is your vagina. You're really just gonna take a finger and really stretch along the bottom of your vagina. I would lube up that finger if I was you. And I would also talk with your provider before you do it. If you have a history of preterm labor or anything like that, they may want you to change it. And honestly, it's great to do after they check your cervix because some people have an area of their vagina that is either more tense or just needs some extra care and attention in the vaginal stretching. So when your provider does that, they know all about how to help you do it very best. But before you get in there, make sure you talk with your provider so that they can give you the best tips for you.